Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today was signed to Ford Models at a young age. She released her single, Little Miss Hollywood, and appeared in the TV series, Chicken Girls. Please welcome Erin Reese. Hi. How are you, Erin? Thank you for joining us I'm today. Great. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, congratulations on Chicken Girls. Oh, gosh. What was that experience like filming that series? Oh, it was so much fun. It was, you know, I got to hang out with my friends every single day. We just had a blast. It was... It, it was, it was such a great experience. It was so much fun. Oh, that's amazing. And also, I really do like your single. I've seen the music video, Little Miss Hollywood. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Little Miss Hollywood was, yeah, my first ever song that I've released, um, which was a big deal for me. Uh, I was really excited. Uh, but yeah, it was just about my life and about me growing up. And yeah. Amazing. And I hear that you have a new song coming out very soon. I do. A Little Bit of Blue is actually coming out, I think, the 28th, which is Friday, this Friday. Um, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait for everybody to listen to it. That's amazing. And who are some of your influences? Oh, I have so many. Uh, Dolly Parton, Casey Musgrave, uh, Elvis Presley. I, you know, I'm an old soul, so I love all like the older like country artists. So you just mentioned Dolly Parton is one of your idols. And then one of your first roles is in her yeah. movie. What was that like to get that call? Uh, when I got the call that I was going to be in a Dolly Parton movie, well, actually, I didn't even know it was for Dolly Parton until I got onto set and I was trying on uh, my outfit for the movie. Uh, I was like looking around and I saw these pictures and I'm like, so what is this actually for? And they're like, oh, it's about Dolly Parton's life. And I'm like, really and so I was so excited I freaked out when I got into the car I'm like she is literally so amazing and I was so blessed to be part of her story oh my god that's incredible what kind of message do you like to put out for your listeners um I just I, I love to spread positivity um that's like my main goal especially through my music I just want to spread love and positivity um to everyone because you know Instagram and all of the social media platforms can be such a negative place I just really want to spread positivity and make and uplift people and make everybody happy incredible and you did mention social media and I, I recall from a previous interview you had done where you gave credit to social media for really you know putting mm -hmm. you on a platform and getting your music out there Oh yeah, so social media has, yeah, it's definitely opened doors for me. Um, so I'm super thankful for that. You know, I've been doing it since I could remember. Um, it's a, you know, it's been a journey with that. Um, but yeah, social media has actually been quite helpful. That's amazing. I, I feel like you and I share a similar philosophy in that respect. I mean, I'm a little older, so I can, <laughs> I, I was coming up right before it really took off. So I can still remember <laughs> having to, you know, reach out or be dependent on, yeah. you know, oh, did someone come to see my show or, oh, <laughs> did I get this? But then when social media took off, I mean, I remember really we were just, it was kind of friends just taking pictures going out and then everyone, yeah. and then it became a marketing tool similar to Facebook. And then, I mean, I give it credit as well because it just turned me on to so many film festivals that I didn't know exist. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, there's other avenues to get into. I think that's what's, you know, what you're saying and what I think is important to uh, let the viewers know as well too, or just anyone coming up is that, you know, you could, you really, by creating a good social media platforms like you have, and you know, you do it with positive positivity, you're very talented. Yeah. You can get out there and you can open up doors and you can get your stuff out there for people who, you know, in the past, it wasn't always that easy. Yeah, it, totally. It's um, yeah. Social media isn't just about like posting pictures and hoping to get famous off of it. It's actually, you know, it, it's a business. It's a, it, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of um, time. And so. Absolutely. No. And I really admire your dedication. I know I feel like just even your generation specifically, I mean, I feel like my generation, we kind of came, we were on the cusp, but then I just yeah. like with your generation, I mean, I just look at everything that you, y'all are doing. I mean, you're so ambitious. You're a teenager and you already have this platform, this following you're on yeah. TV shows. And I just really respect uh, the hustle that you have and that you're just out there. You're, you're not letting anything get in your way and, and you're talented. You spread a very good message. And I uh, know I commend you for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I so appreciate you being on today. Is there anything else you'd like to let your audience know? Just, you know, be you and do what you love to do and don't give up.
You heard it from Aaron Reese. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please, you can watch Aaron Reese in Chicken Girls streaming on Hulu right now. Aaron's releasing a new song this week, A Little Bit of Blue. Be sure to check it out and follow her on social media. Aaron, I really appreciate your time today. You're very so ambitious. Much. You're very talented. You keep Thank going you. on this career of yours. It's going great and it's only going to get better. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Thank you so much for rocking out with me and Aaron Reese today. You are on air with cash.